Welcome to this magnificent stadium, which is hosting this fascinating encounter. Brutality, underhand tricks, and plenty of hemoglobin are on the program. And I'm happy to be sharing this spectacle with Bob Bifford, our expert summarizer. Greetings to all of you out there. Apparently, the coach isn't too sure about the outcome. He knows it's going to be a massacre. He just doesn't know how many players he'll have left at the end of the match. in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big mood sandwiches? Yeah, no way! A little elf? Yeah. This player was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. Incoming! Well, it is a violent sport. Bob, have you ever been to the Great Skull Land? Oh, Jim, it's a wasteland. No one goes out there, not even the Chaos Dwarfs. Well, I heard a few orcs went there recently. And have they returned ever since? Eh. Uh... One with a good reason to go see the apothecary. Yep, looks like he's gonna need a good one.
Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Were you playing at the time in an Albion League, a second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh yes, they were great times. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of the snap of a wizard's neck. Hold still, and then pow! Right in the face! Somebody had better stuff some smelling salts under his nose. That won't do any good. He'll need extract of Nurgle to put him back on his feet. <laughs> Knocked his teeth down his throat. Yes, Jim, that's never a nice sight. They can start to move forward. There's some fans on the pitch. They think it's all over. Hey. It's a touchdown. Hey. Bob, that the Hobgoblins saved Tsar Nagrun. But how did they do that? They're so small and useless and ugly. Indeed, Bob, they are. But when the Orc and Goblin slaves rebelled, the Hobgoblins turned their backs on their brothers and helped the Chaos Dwarfs at the last minute. Oh, I knew those Hobgoblins were unreliable creatures, Jim. Look at them. <laughs> yes, Bob, but ogres aren't so different, you know. What? There's one that lets his biceps do the talking. Yeah, but from his opponent's point of view, it was a short conversation. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. Mm, something must be broken. Uh, probably nose, a few teeth, an arm. You know, regular stuff. Oh, brilliant sidekick to the face. Let's see that again in slow motion. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just how effective will one bodyguard be against a stadium full of supporters? True. Could be a bit one-sided. Oh, 
Oh, he swatted him like a fly. <laughs> More like punched him square in the face like a fly. team's best players, but still, he often missed entire games as he struggled to tie his bootlaces up. Ah, those <laughs> stupid things, they always make everything go wrong. Absolutely, Bob, and that's why the fans love to see them play Blood Bowl. What finish, what style, what perfection. What a hammer blow. Skills. The ball is caught. Yes, they're gonna score. Hope me back to joining in. Well, if it's true, it's a strategy that might be paying off. The ball's in play. He's recovered the ball. when the Chaos Dwarfs had trolls on their teams? Oh, of course, Jim, I remember. Good old days back then. But tell me, why don't they have them anymore? I love this story. The Scarface scavengers strapped dynamite and kegs of gunpowder onto the troll, sent him running down into the opposing half, where he detonated himself to the glee of the fans, covering them with bits of troll, causing a huge amount of detestation to the opponents. This tactic has been outlawed by the Blood Bowl regulations crafters, and we haven't seen a single troll on the Chaos Dwarfs team ever since! Oh, I remember that very effective tactic. Now, let's see how much blood they can spill without an explosive troll. Don't forget, they still have bull centaurs and minotaurs. I'm sure it will be a bloodbath, as always. <sighs> One regulation flubbering. teams do suck. Blood, of course. Hey, Bob? Yeah, Jim, we can agree that they are not the greatest teams out there. Well, Bob, they do have a huge disadvantage. I mean, all that blood sucking and all. Get over it. Uh, Opponent down. This 
is good sport. in motion. What we'd like to see more, more often. Did you know that vampire teams have experimented with using vials and flasks to satisfy the need for blood on the pitch? But it is always ended in failure as there is always a block or tackle that sends the container crashing to the ground. That's right, Jim. I remember back in 2481 when the Gregan Counts faced off against the Dark Forest Iron Hoover. The match was abandoned when the Minotaurs and the Vampires spent the entire second half trying to drink the blood that was spilt over the pitch! Oh, I remember that match well, Bob. Mm. That's why they started to field thralls instead. <laughs> Living containers! <laughs> And don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. Today's insight comes from Jaime Schnivel, coach and owner of the Goblin Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survivors. Oh, that's deep. Not as deep as his team's position in the rankings. Looks like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. and that he had something between his ears to begin with. Those fans have used the halftime pause to tank up on troll juice and rebuild their arsenal of rocks. Ah, oh, good. So now the match can restart. see much of the Heroes of Law these days. No, I don't know. For any spectators who aren't aware, the Heroes of Law hope to show the world a better way by honest, strategic play on the pitch. It's probably a good thing we don't see them.
Don't hit me, don't hit me. Uh, oops, I'm, I'm sorry, that's an old reflex on hearing the starting whistle. The player has got the ball, and now he's the main target. Dwarfs intend to leave with some new slaves. Oh, really, Jim? Don't they ever have enough of them? Ha! No, Bob! They always need more slaves to play Blood Bowl. Uh, yeah, well, I would like some slaves too, Jim. Sometimes I feel... Uh, stop right there, Bob. You sound like a lonely cheerleader. Let's see Blood be spilled. <sighs> But whether he survives that injury or not, the team's insurance premium will be rocketing! Nice left punch, right on the nose! Sure was, Jim! It's broken now! <laughs> One way to look at things. Hey, Bob, can you see those hobgoblins on the pitch? <laughs> oh, yes, Jim, I can see them. It's going to be a nice match. I hope they don't betray their own team. <laughs> Come on, Jim. That would be even better, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. The other guy couldn't dodge that one. Hey, Bob, have you ever been to the Great Skull Land? Oh, Jim, it's a wasteland. No one goes out there, not even the Chaos Dwarfs. Well, I heard a few orcs went there recently. And have they returned ever since? Eh. Uh... Boom! In the face, and then followed by a clean uppercut. Well done! Thank you. 
me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh yeah, you kneecapped him. Wow, I can tell you straight, that hurts. This player is gonna have a little nap. And a wake up will not be too early after this one. Did you hear about the evil Gits? The team that is made up of the mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully merited from what I've seen. Without his armor, that player could have been hurt. But it hurts! I can hear the scream! Do you think you'll be able to get up after that blow, Jim? Oh, yes. He's not the sort to stay down. Ouch! Right in the face! The other guy couldn't dodge that one. Well, that's one with a good reason to go see the apothecary. Yep, looks like he's gonna need a good one. Ooh. That's one regulation clobbering. That player's gonna wake up with a serious headache. The Blood Bowl annals are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. Well, duh. I know, anatomy isn't your speciality, Bob, but do you think that... Now, there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. This player has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. Finish. What style, what perfection. What a hammer blow. Jim, I have a question for you. Which team was crowned the worst team ever in the Spike magazine? The Streisand Vampires. That's right, Jim, and they all got sticked by their fans. That's all oh, true, oh, oh. but they re-emerged last year with a new vampire lord, Dracul von Streisand, and they were quickly voted rookie team to watch.
The players are ready. Oh, no, another one who actually plays the ball. <sighs> Blood Bowl is reputedly the toughest of all sports. Uh, so they say, but it really only comes down to taking a few hits. Boom! In the face! And then followed by a clean uppercut. Well done! Don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. Looks like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. Corruption so widespread that the Referees Guild has set up rules concerning where, when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, the clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate. That blow, Jim? Oh, yes. He's not the sort to stay down. The bench seems to be in two minds about what to do about the player lying prone on the pitch. Yeah, they don't know whether to send on a stretcher or a coffin. There was a time when the Colleges of Magic hadn't yet ruled a limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident, when rampant spellcasting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink ah, into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. Looks like he could do with a blood transfusion. They'll have to cauterize it first. Clean take up there, nothing to say. And I don't have any remark to add, my friend. That right hook was worthy of a black orc. You're telling me it'll take a while to get over it. 
Doesn't look like he'll be getting back on his feet too soon. He should be up before next week's match. Say much about that. Full blooded but perfectly legal. What a mean hit. As you say, it is pure art. Go back home now. Mm, what violence! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob. He made picking that ball up look easy. Did you know the Chaos Dwarfs intend to leave with some new slaves? Oh, really, Jim? Don't they ever have enough of them? Ha! No, Bob! They always need more slaves to play Blood Bowl! Uh, yeah, well, I would like some slaves too, Jim. Sometimes I feel... Uh, stop right there, Bob. You sound like a lonely cheerleader. Uh, Let's see Blood be spilled! Uh, somebody had better stuff some smelling salts under his nose. Well, that won't do any good. He'll need extract of Nurgle to put him back on his feet. <laughs> They came, they played, and they won. Ha! This match had it all, and there's no surprise to see it given such a high mark. Blood, arms ripped off, broken teeth, broken bones, and what do they end up with? A miserable defeat for a team that had all the cards in hand to win this match. There could be no excuses, no balls, no victory. I'm not sure that that comment will come across as you meant it to sound. Um. <laughs> they defended high up, keeping the opposition to their half of the field. So, we're in for a dope-free match. Well, on the pitch, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how you get some refs who just can't let a match flow, and others who just take a back seat. Discreet, to say the least. But then discretion is the better part of valor. 